Sarah Hansen Young has made the point that if this toxic algal bloom occurred on Bondi or the North Shore, Northern Beaches, there would be a national crisis. Now, obviously, that's more of a rhetorical device than an actual statement of fact. But I'm interested to know, is an event like this plausible in New South Wales? Yes, of course. And and we have had events like this in New South Wales before. In fact, we've had one on the Northern Beaches. Really? When, when about was that? Uh, so uh, I wrote a scientific paper about it. There was a fish kill event in um, Curl Curl Lagoon. Right. So was this an event where the specific it was specifically the same type of algae was present or was it a different? It was a, it was a different species of marine microalgae, but it had a fish killing effect. So this particular bloom in South Australia is largely made up of a species Carinia mikimotoi, and we have had blooms of Carinia mikimotoi in New South Wales before, um, not on this scale, um, they were lasting this long, but yes, it's occurred. If something like that is possible in New South Wales, how can we prepare for it? We need really good monitoring. I think, I think that's the, the key. Um, so what happened in South Australia is that the areas where this HAB started, so we call them HABs generally just that the area where the HAB started um, was not a shellfish aquaculture region. So that meant that it was quite a long time before, because we don't, in, anywhere in Australia, we don't have really regular monitoring outside of the areas that we're obliged to have regular monitoring for government regulation purposes, which is shellfish aquaculture waters. So we don't generally have it just in beaches or recreational air water use areas or we don't generally have that regular monitoring um, and that's why we didn't detect it for, till relatively late um, in this case of the South Australian bloom. In New South Wales most of our estuaries are actually have um, shellfish aquaculture so we would probably detect it faster. Having said that, Sydney Harbour doesn't. So, you know, if it happened in Sydney Harbour, I reckon it, it would have been similar to what's happened in South Australia, actually. Now, if you find this interesting and want to know a little bit more, you can click on our profile and watch our previous video where I explain what's happening in South Australia and why it's happening.